Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am truly excited. Can't you tell by the sound in my voice? That's because we are going over the fried chicken lover's ultimate fried chicken recipe. And on this channel, y'all, the food is always the star. Now, this is imperative, y'all. This right here, this bag has chicken legs in it that are skinless, y'all. It has a two-day soak on it. What it contains is milk, sour cream, y'all, and some chicken base, Tony Saturis, and other seasoning agents and flavor agents, y'all. The catch is I also added cornstarch now into that bag. And when I added cornstarch into that milk, sour cream, seasoning, chicken base mix, it allowed it to form a coat. I could have fried it itself, y'all, but we looking for double breaded, double crunch, southern fried chicken, y'all. Yes, indeed, y'all. This flour mix is seasoned quite well with your favorite flavor agents, y'all. It has flour and panko breadcrumbs included, y'all. Now, let's go ahead and make sure we lay this chicken away from us, y'all, and put it in a certain way so that the pieces can have a little bit of space, y'all. That's what we want to do. Y'all let it go. And remember, y'all, that oil loves to bubble. So we're not going to fill that pan up all the way now, are we? Y'all, I got to ask you this question now. I have to. Do you own a cast iron skillet, y'all? If you don't, I'm telling you. You can do everything in it. Saute in it. Bake in it. You can do what you want to do in a cast iron skillet, y'all. And do you truly know what a cast iron skillet is good at doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Frying up some good old double crunch southern chicken, y'all. I mean, you got to do it yourself. I've gone to a few places, y'all, recently. One was Golden Chick. I did a mukbang on Golden Chick, y'all. Food review. And they were horrendous. I gave them a five, 50% effort, y'all. Though I paid 100% of the price, they gave me 50% quality. So this inspired me, encouraged me to get it done myself. And I must say, we are looking real good, y'all. So far, so good. Yes, 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 y'all. The catch is, though, we are going to pull this chicken out early. Why? Because we're going to par fry. Yes, we're going to fry this chicken. And then we're going to Finish it in the oven. Why are we going to do that? We are going to do that because we don't need all that excess grease. And have you ever had par-fried chicken? Nine times out of ten, you had. If you go to certain restaurants, yes, they will fry your chicken and then finish it in the oven so all that excess grease can drain off of it. And you can have that good old crunch on it. Take a look at this chicken, y'all. And it is about ready to get oven finished. Mm -mm. Dual cooking method here. Look at that soak that was on there. You can see all the seasonings from the soak too. Look at that batter. Yes, and that's skinless. Mind you, this is skinless. You can do this with the skin on, but we are looking for just a little bit of healthier fried chicken. Look at it. And I must say, -wee, that look good now. Y'all, I really appreciate your time. I just want to show you a different way to fry. And let us know, y'all. If there's something that you feel we miss or y'all want to see, just let us know. Drop a comment so we can add it to the playlist. And again, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all on the next side. I mean, that's in your browser and in your up next section, y'all. Because I ain't going to waste your time. Be sure to subscribe.